Yo, this is Luxury House Kennels, and today I'm dropping a video for all clients, whether you copping from any camp, right? Whether you're purchasing a dog from any camp. All right, some things that you should know and some questions you should ask, right? When you're purchasing a dog from a camp, you should always ask, you know, if this is the first time the mom and dad have bred together, all right? Second question that follow behind that. If so, do you have any pictures, videos, updates on the offsprings, right? The reason why I say that is because when you're breeding a male and a female together for the first time, it's an experiment, right? You don't know what you're going to get, especially when it comes to rot rollers. Just because that male threw fire off the last female that he bred with or that female threw fire off the last male that she bred with don't mean that those two bloods are going to click together. Right, so that's some stuff that a breeder would not tell you. And me personally, I believe when you first breeding for the first time, a male and a female, and you don't know, because you don't know how the offsprings are gonna come out, that price should probably be reduced a little bit, man. Like, say for instance, say I'm breeding a male and a female rock together, right? I sell my puppies for 35, four, four grand, right? So let's just say the letter drops i sell the puppies all these puppies because you don't know because the dog can pull genetics from the grandma the great grandma the great great grandma same thing on the dad side the, the dog can pull genetics from anywhere you don't know how those puppies are going to come out so i believe that that litter if i'm selling them for 35 four grand that litter should probably go for about 2500 you know what i'm saying because you don't know what are you producing with those two dogs, especially if it's for the first time? I don't care where you where you got the two dogs from. I don't care who promised you that they gonna throw all this fire. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to see what you producing with those two before you can set that price that high. And that's up to y'all. If y'all want to go ahead and buy the dog for a, a, a crazy amount, and then later on you down you looking for a new dog or. You, you didn't gave this dog away or you didn't did whatever that's, that's totally up to y'all i'm just telling you what makes sense in this dog world and what they not going to share with you you know what i'm saying so i'm just keeping it real with y'all um yeah <laughs> that's all i got to say man this is luxury house kennels i'm out